All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome to another great episode on your favorite political talk show, The Truth with Ben Jokes. Now, anyone who is conversant with politics in Nigeria knows that the Labour Party was nothing before Peter Obi became a member. As a matter of fact, one of the most popular phrases of the 2023 presidential election campaign was, they have no structure. So, Peter Obi and Obedience went into a party that had no structure and after a few months, contested a presidential election under that same party and it took all the criminals in high places in this country to steal his victory. So, the party is nothing without Obi. Now, there is crisis in the party as a result of misappropriation, stealing of campaign funds, money that would never have come to Labour Party if they had any other presidential candidate apart from Peter Obi. And Obi, being an upright man, is unhappy with what is happening within the party. And he said in a Twitter space that if we cannot change them, we will leave. And he has every right to be angry with the corruption in Labour Party because he and his supporters gave the party the reputation they enjoy presently. And now they are trying to become the same evil that Obi is fighting. He has every right to be angry. But when NLC spokesperson Benson Upa was asked what he thought about Obi's possible departure from the Labour Party, he didn't give the appropriate response. As a matter of fact, the response he gave somehow suggested that he does not mean well for the party. Before I show you what he said and how obedience reacted, let me quickly show you this update. Fresh tragedy hits Nigerian army as terrorists kill Lieutenant Colonel, six soldiers in ambush. A Lieutenant Colonel in the Nigerian army and six soldiers have lost their lives in an ambush by the Boko Haram terrorists along Biu Biu Yadi Road, Borno State. The soldiers died exactly a week after the military personnel who were murdered while on a peace mission in Delta State were laid to rest at National Military Cemetery in Abuja. Daily Trust gathered that the Boko Haram insurgents ambushed the soldiers at Kamuya, a village close to Buratai, hometown of former Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tukur Buratai, retired. A security source said the soldiers paid a supreme price on their way to Damaturu to buy fuel. It is very sad. There were soldiers of 135 Special Force BNFOB in Buratai. They were ambushed on their way to Damaturu, Yobe State to buy fuel. Unfortunately, we lost an officer, a driver, gunner and four other escorts while the wounded are in the hospital responding to treatment he said a local source who escaped the incident by whisker said while on his way to neighboring yadi town hometown of governor mai mai buni of yobe state he ran into the scene i can't describe the kind of gun battle that ensued the insurgents who were in large number overwhelmed the soldiers it is by God's grace that I survived, he said. Now, may the souls of the departed soldiers rest in peace. But this is not the first, second or tenth time our soldiers are being killed in this manner, ambushed and taken out by terrorists. Clearly, there are insiders feeding these terrorists with information. And many times, even the local communities take sides with the terrorists because they believe they are fighting a religious war. You find terrorists taking cover within the locals as they lay ambush for our soldiers. And Nigerians reacted by saying, the communities where this ambush took place are not going to come under any kind of investigation whatsoever because it happened in, in the north. They said, but if something like this happens in, in any community in southern Nigeria, even innocent neighboring communities will be burnt down. Why is it so? Let's take some of the tweet reactions. This tweet here says, I hope they will level the village the same way they did Okwama village in Delta State and hope Tinubu will give them national honors and they will get same media attention like Delta case. Oh, -ho. the Delta case was all over the place, but this one, they are kind of silent on it. And this tweet by Sky says, I'm waiting on the flames 
that will engulf Borno, and I'm still waiting on the angry southwestern media asking the army to burn the town in Borno State. What about the presidential directive? All these were in place when an ambush happened in Delta State, but now they don't even want to bring the issue of the community into it. But we all know there was no way that could have happened without the knowledge of some people, you know, around that vicinity. And this tweet here says, why haven't the defense minister and channels TV said something about this tragedy? Where are the soldiers and the levelers? I be this community pass them oh where are those leveling the communities in delta states why are they not threatening members of the community where this took place i really don't understand if this is also considered northern privilege to allow terrorism to thrive in their region this beats my imagination now let us look at what the spokesperson of nlc said about peter obi's possible exit from the labor party Look at how the papers reported it. Peter Obi is free to leave Labour Party, says Nigerian Labour Congress. The Nigerian Labour Congress has said the candidate of the Labour Party in the 2023 presidential election, Peter Obi, is free to leave the party. The NLC also vowed to ensure Julius Abure leaves the national chairmanship position of the party. This comes amid the ongoing crisis in the party following the organization of its national convention, which the NLC has described as illegal. In an interview with Sunday Punch, the NLC spokesman, Benson Upa, said that despite the illegal national convention that returned Abure to office, the union would never recognize him as the national chairman of the party. He said, our position on this matter is clear and has not changed. Abure remains unknown to us. It is not a question of removal. As far as we know, he does not exist. Obi also expressed his frustrations with how the party's national convention was conducted at an ex-space session organized by Pile Facts last Friday night. While explaining his absence at the national convention that got Julius Abure re-elected as the party's national chairman, Obi told his audience that he didn't attend the event because the party's leadership failed to heed his appeal for wider consultation with relevant stakeholders before the exercise. His comment has since set tongues wagging and further filled earlier speculations that the LP presidential candidate may have started to look for a new platform despite being guaranteed the 2027 ticket at the convention. But UPA said the issue of whether Obi should stay or leave the party should not be debated saying the former governor was free to determine his destiny. According to him, the NLC cannot stand in the way of the presidential candidate should he decide to defect to another political platform. While describing him as an asset, the spokesman said Obi has the right to leave the party if he wants. The right of choice is available to Mr. Obi. If he chooses to leave the party, that is his preference. We can't sit in judgment over him on that. But if he chooses to remain, of course, Peter Obi is an asset any day. I rest my case on that, he added. Now, these are not the kind of words I expected to hear from the spokesperson of the Nigerian Labour Congress, NLC, on a possible departure of a man whose arrival shot the Labour Party to limelight. These words are not good at all. If Obi leaves, it is the end of Labour Party's fame. And this is how you address the matter. If you truly care about the party, you should be saying things like all the problems were going to be fixed and that Obi goes nowhere. You should be saying that the party has their presidential ticket reserved for Peter Obi and they are not looking to anyone else because no politician right now has his charisma and leadership qualities. That is how a party man talks. Not uh, is his preference. If he wants to leave, he can leave. Those words are an indictment on you, Mr. Spokesperson. And look at how Nigerians reacted. Look at some of the tweet reactions. This tweet here says, Everyone knows that Mr. Peter Obi is free to leave Labour Party. It is his fundamental right. However, he is still a member of Labour Party at the moment. Mpo Mort and his team should face front. Electricity tariff was increased. 
what are they doing about it now this guy is talking about the nlc i think those guys are a bunch of useless clowns talking as if you are eager for peter obi to leave the party i think they want to grab a hold of that treasury and loot it that is what they are all about that is why they have become toothless at the national level look at the ruling party doing whatever they want to do nlc cannot protest they will fix date for protest they will go and collect brown envelopes it is the same corruption that they want to bring to the labor party where were they when this party was nowhere to be found shameless lots and this tweet by savvy here says they are looking to see him leave they don't know that without peter obi there is no labor party that is it maybe they think that the party has achieved some kind of status that they can build on to to collect more funds from people and loot they are just wasting their time as soon as peter obi steps out of that party the party loses everything it has right now and this tweet by lynn says he should leave labor party as soon as possible the party is already infiltrated so the best decision is to leave he has the obedience that are willing to follow him anywhere else he goes that is it and this tweet here by ray says you people just want to finish this party at all costs we thought the party would be an alternative for better governance maybe youths should just go and form another party mm. anyway in the coming days we will see how this whole thing will play out one thing is sure anywhere peter obi goes i go and i believe it is the same for all true obedience the mission is not to build any political party it is to build a new nigeria and we already have our driver in peter obi labor party is just a vehicle if it breaks down we will fix it and if it is beyond fixing we can always buy another vehicle but until then make i still enter town <laughs> Make I go get some Ogbonge political news where I go like. Why? Because not because of now. Now I day here. So don't go away. <laughs>